think I did it. I hope I did it. Right, where's my camera thingy? Oh my God, what am I doing? Right, I think I did it. I need to go into the thingy. Right, okay, okay. We could be live. Moving. <laughs> Carlene, I think we I think I did it. Carlene! <coughs> right, so volume. Right, sign that picture on. Right. You're good to go. What? You're good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. And I don't know where to put that was. It? I, well, I, I did, did it. it. Right I did here. it. I did, did it. it. I toasted it. Yeah, Does that mean I'm redundant now? Yeah. yeah. All right. Is, is, this letter, is, that, is that the letter you're looking for? Is, no, I don't think so. Is it? Maybe it is. Or if she came know. in here with one letter and now she can't find it. Put it down. That's $20. Oh, that is it. <laughs> I don't think it's that, though. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry, Nick. Sorry. Sorry. I came all this way for nothing. I know, I know. You can stay if you like. It's the only reason I'm not divorced is because I know how to troubleshoot the camera. <laughs> it's the one thing that I'm hanging on with, yeah? Well, I suppose it's got to be something here. Yeah. Bring some value to the relationship. <laughs> well, you're good at wrangling. I'm going to stay out of that. At, at wrangling missing animals. Am I? Well, yeah, we've had a few wrangling experiences. Probably ones that you'd rather forget. <laughs> See, I didn't hear every word. I only heard a couple of them. <laughs> Wrangling. Wrangling animals. Well, I know. Well, they were, our words I heard didn't go together the oh, proper right. way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were, we were behaving. We were behaving. What's up, puppy? Oh, that one's to go to Meredith. I see what you mean now. Has he been swimming yet? Yes. He has been swimming. He's been doing his thing. He's going to go to sleep now. Sophie really likes them. Does she? Yeah. She only saw them once. Yeah, but she said she wanted to hold them. All right. Who? Sophie. What? Yeah, she wants to hold them. She can't hold them. These are the kids. Where, where is she? Oh, she came over the other day. We were on mail chat, and I said she couldn't take him out because he was in the sin bin. Because <laughs> he's now started diving in the big water bucket. That's what he's. That's what he's trying to do now. I know you're a mischief. He's very sweet though. He is cute. He is very cute and he knows it. He's very smart. He's very smart. He learned today to stay in the back of the car without crawling out of the other two. <coughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> that's a good thing to <laughs> learn. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I think some. I think somehow. Um, so are we, are we on? We is are that, on. Is I that did. what that red right. sign means? Oh, yes. Yeah, you're good. Thank you very much. See. I got there. Oh, they go to hell. It, it How about that? I know, it just took me a wee while. It was left on mute. You see, and then I, I kept pressing every button because I couldn't see without my glasses. What was on mute? Like a uh, microphone thing was yeah, on mute. Yeah, yeah. If it's got a yellow light, it's on mute. Yeah. I, know, I know, I did it by the process of elimination. The yellow light? Yes, it's on green. So it means we're green for go. The, the green? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that needs to be red, and that needs to be green. <sighs> it's like All traffic right. lights. I didn't see any yellow, that's what I was kind no, of concerned. I had yellow, and I have got it. I had yellow because it, it, it muted itself. Did you touch it? You touched it overnight. I haven't even got your pokey thing. I didn't touch it, the dog must have had it. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. I'll we'll see you later. Bye. Why don't you make me dinner? <laughs> I'll be take out then, yeah? Ooh. No. I know. Uh, there was only one envelope and I actually think it might be trash, so I didn't even bother. I love these things that say urgent. D C C C. I don't know what any of those mean. Excellent. Washington DC, that's trouble. Democratic. But what the hell does all those C's mean? I do not know. Official 2024 Democratic Age Group Precinct and Member Confirmation Card. No. 
much rubbish. Oh, my pen's broken. If I'm concerned or very concerned or not concerned, important, somewhat important or not important. No, it's not. And then there's the 15, 20, 35 dollars. That they want you to donate. The there you go. That's the part they're after. Yeah. So uh, what did all those C's mean? Do we know? You, nobody, I don't know what they mean. Uh, no. Nobody knows what that means. Okay. Well, we better throw it away. So I need to say. It doesn't matter what it means now. No, it doesn't because we filed it under B. B. Basket. Or T. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you very much to Lisa, who um, sent us in 20 hay bales, well, two bales, $20 two bales. for two bales of hay, so thank you. Okay. And also, uh, um, somewhere to go and eat and drink. Yes. So, that's very much appreciated, thank you very yes, much. Yes, Judy and I spent it. Yeah, well, actually, yes, they did spend it, because they came across random money in here. I opened it yesterday and said, I'm going to put this all in. Remember, I said, I'm going to put it all in together so I can say thank you tomorrow. And yes. I came here, and it's empty. And I said, where's the envelope from yesterday? And I don't you know said, we had a spare $20. So we... No, she, Judy, Judy must have spent an hour trying to make, make her it addition come up with the amount that she and she kept having $20 extra. So I said, fine, let's have lunch. See? So it went to lunch. So Carlina's just given me $20 back. <laughs> it, was, well, it was fun. Does that count as Well, a fun I'm fun? sure it was fun. That was lovely. So Carlina, this is one of Carlina's $20. And um, she has returned it, and it will go to the hay bales. So that the I certainly did return it. So that the horses can have lunch. <laughs> you dropped up the other I floor. know. That's uh, past us rabies. Oh, so we'll take Lord. that down. I went down to argue with Ira Toyota today. Oh, did you? Was that fun? I did. It was fun. Well, the, the, the guy there, Bill, was there, and he's one of my friends. And he said, you know, if I ever come in there and he's not there, he said, just drive right through and out the other door. Oh. Don't bother staying there, which is about true, because the rest of the people there don't understand me. I went in with a loose wire, mm -hmm. right? The trailer would get hooked up with the right tail light. So I went down there knowing it was a loose wire, mm -hmm. and I go in and it was five hundred and thirty five dollars later I got out mm -hmm. and that was the hard part the hard part it was three hours mm -hmm. which if you weigh Judy's time was only seventy five dollars to my bill I know I didn't like it oh. and what did he say too bad <laughs> did he <laughs> no he explained the whole bill with me but and there were it was it was a wire mm -hmm. loose wire I did have a cracked tail light. Now, I don't know when that happened. I didn't hit anything. I haven't hit anything because remember, I only go forward. You go forward, <laughs> right? So that doesn't count. At <laughs> any rate, I had a cracked tail light. That was $300. And then it took an hour to put it in. Now, they bill, they bill by the half hour. Right. $90. That they're, means they're by the hour, it's 180. 180 an hour. We're in the wrong profession. I know. Any rate, by the time I got out of there, and, and they, they looked at my, uh, what the hell, you, the sticker in the corner, mm -hmm. inspection sticker. Yeah, that one. <laughs> and I could not have the inspection sticker because one of the dogs had chewed the seat belt. Mm -hmm. And. Instead of giving me a rejection sticker, which probably they should have done, mm -hmm. he, he said, go to your neighborhood because they'll never see it. So that's what we did. I sent Carly down with the car. Did you get one. it? She got the sticker fine. Well, but you know the thing is, you don't have back seats. You've only got no, back seats. This is a sporty two-seater forerunner. Yeah. And that's only yeah. at any rate. And we went on from there. Excellent. But the people, they, they have a big waiting room, nice waiting room, comfortable chairs. Mm -hmm. And the people are always fascinated with the fact that I have three dogs that generally behave, mm -hmm. especially the puppies. Um, it, but three hours sitting there doing nothing? Judy know. doing nothing and me doing nothing? And you didn't even have them um, monkey fists to make? No. No? Oh. No. Oh. It was a bad scene. Yeah, it's bad seeing them when you've got idle hands. You know what that means? Yes. 
I don't have the devil playing around trouble. Lots of trouble. Right. Oh, do you know what we need to do? We need to put these blinking lights on here, because otherwise it would look like we're... Is that why we're so dark? I think so. Is that better? I think so. Yeah, it's a bit... Well, it's a bit better. It will do. It's a bit dull outside, because it's been... It's they been, all know who we are anyway. Yeah, it's been alternating between driven <coughs> rain and it, it dry. It, it, it rained today, didn't it? It which certainly did. It was awful. Absolutely I awful. Thought, I thought it was pretty nice myself. Yeah, well, you don't have oh, to. Oh, that's right. You have roof. You have holes in your roof. You, How did you, tell us about your roof experience. Well, it's got, we've gone down from seven to just three. So it's really not sounding quite as melodic. Oh. Yeah, such a shame. But it is the three, and it, uh, do they fill up for things? Or? No, they just it's squish, annoying. splash. Well, it's okay because it's in the it's in the sitting room, and Nick sleeps with headphones on. You know his his earbuds, so he doesn't hear me snoring. Honest to goodness, he's like a blinking steam train. He's lying on his back. I think I might smother him. He's he's, he's honestly, and and it, it, it's just I've got the dog on one side who's got a stuffy nose, and I've got him with a stuffy nose. And I don't know why I bother sleeping. You gotta wear one of these things. Where is it? What the hell is this thing? Oh, maybe he'd snore through that. Huh? He'd snore through that. <coughs> snore through it would probably amplify it. No, I don't know. I used to snore a lot, but I used to I don't snore. And the wee head, and the wee um, sleep buds that he's got at the moment, honestly, they flash. They flash. They flash. So when the room's dark, oh, you've got this, this little blue light that goes. Eh. Oh my, like, honestly, between the snoring and the flashing light, I'm like, I have no hope. God. <laughs> oh God. Oh, what a game. Oh, certainly. I mean, who oh. thought that up? Having flashing lights. I know. I mean, honestly, that's a bit silly. So um. And I thought, do you know what I thought? I thought when he just goes to sleep, you know, it's probably just going to do it the first five times and then it'll stop. Just like all night. I know. I know when he goes to meet his battery has run down no, or something. I know, he, I know when he gets up to go to, to, go to the bathroom because he, you can see him walking. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. It's a still a no. It's a hard no. Yeah. No. You're a good boy. You are a lovely boy. We do love you. You're the best. Good boy. Um. So that, so that was good. So did you? You went out today, apart from to noise up Ira. Did I? No, I didn't. Did you not go to do the job today? There was no job today. I thought there was, but there was not. <sighs> I tell you, well, what day, what day is it anyway? It's a rainy day. Somebody put down rain. <laughs> Did you write rain in that? Who no, wrote I rain? didn't write anything in there. No, but there was no, no job today. Okay. We thought there might be. Because Debbie at the bottom of the driveway. She was coming with you. She was going to go with me and and it just didn't work out right. <laughs> Besides, it was absolutely pouring at that moment. Right. And I did get up, and I took a shower, and I got all dressed to go, and we did go. Did you get dressed to shoes and everything? Well, I have this problem with shoes. Yeah, they don't match. They don't. We couldn't find them. We. <laughs> At any rate, they work. As long as, you, as long as you don't walk in circles. There's the other one up there. <laughs> the There's one? the boot. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'll try tomorrow to get them on. Yes, right. must try harder. Must try harder. And anyway, it's Saturday tomorrow, so you're not going out. It is Saturday tomorrow. Okay. I okay. say, I don't even know what the weather's doing tomorrow. I don't know. I think I've got that that little. I don't know, but I get a kick out of cloudy, sprinkles, and then soft rain, rain. Rain, pouring rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a pouring rain we don't like. It's a bit much. It's um, yeah, it's a bit. Uh, I now I sit there and I quite like the rain on the roof. Yeah. Right, and now I sit there and go, oh, doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do notice that the lake is kind of full. Uh -huh. It's full. It's it is. It is. 
even even the wee ducks are sitting up in the, in the overflow. Yeah, yeah. The overflow would used to be a swampy sort of thing. Uh, no, the lake. no, it's quite deep actually yeah. at the moment. Uh, Janine always said, we don't really need to fence this off because it doesn't really ever get deep. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. Don't need anything swimming, swimming in that. Stop what? it! No. Just a no. Go be quiet. Look, no! Well, sleeping. Go sleepies. I know. You're such a nice boy. I do adore you. Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. And you've got the cutest feet. The cutest feet. Oh, I, I keep looking on the floor of that ring. Yeah, why is that there? He, he has he been still on. Would is you he? believe it? I never saw a dog pick it's like up. It's weightlifting. Like, I know, but it's it, it's metal, pure and simple. Yeah, and it's got that metal taste to it as well. The, yeah. He's like, no, I just want you to take me out. You have to go to sleep. Everyone else is sleeping, honestly. Um, and then, so where else did you go? Just Ira. Just Ira. Huh. Well, Ira, and then we, oh, well. Oh, where did, oh, oh where did you go? Five to guys. Oh. Um, five guys where I had a hamburger and a milkshake. <laughs> they were, did you say they were out of hamburger? No, I said oh, I you had, had a hamburger. What kind of milkshake? And they were... And vanilla, it was very good. But the, the hamburger was double, so I pulled out the second hamburger and split it with the dog. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. I thought so. Yeah. They did too. The fries are very good. Well, we had those too. I don't know what, Judy had something else. It sort of looked like a cheese sandwich. I don't know what she has. Yeah. Oh, they do grilled cheese. No, can I just say, people are sending me messages about he needs to go out. He's actually just gone in. He's been fed. He's been to the toilet. And, um, he moved his bowels and peas. So he's actually he's actually just getting to the stage that he knows he can make a noise, and uh, hopefully we'll take him out. Um, and essentially, that's not happening because he is now swimming in the big bucket. So he doesn't spend very much time in here. He's here because he chews the microphone cable. Yeah, he chews the microphone cable, and he gets in the water bucket. And he swims in the water bucket. These I are know. these are problems. You are just lovely. So calm. Pull your jets and you'll be fine. So you're by the time we get up the cable, the water cable, and get the water bucket up and out of the way, mm -hmm. and worry about if he's had a drink anyway, Yeah. you know, I mean, there's a, a large maneuver. Yeah, so that's why he's in here, for his own safety. Right, in our sanity. In our sanity, because quite frankly, he's, he's very active. Shh. No. No. So I'm actually going to stop paying him attention. He does know the word no. He does. Whether he does anything about it or not. Yes. So. No, puppy. I said no. I have to stop calling him puppy, too. <laughs> he, he answers to it very nicely. He does, unfortunately. <laughs> he went too long without a name. Yes. Excellent. Oh, I've just bought my ticket. Well, Nick just bought it for me. You did what? I just bought my ticket for South Carolina. Oh, did you? Well, Nick did it, because I, I, I am notoriously awful at booking tickets. So. When are you leaving? Wednesday, at 8 in the morning. Well, I'm flying at 8 morning. in the morning. Wait, are you driving a car down there, or what? No, Nick will take me down. Oh. He likes to make sure that I do actually leave. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and then... I haven't booked a ticket <coughs> to come back because you didn't get one to come back. No. no. Don't you have to get a round trip ticket? No. Every time I book one to come back, I end up phoning Nick and saying, "Can I extend this a day or two? And he gets uh, and he says, "Could you just make your mind up?" And I'm like, "Yes." So we haven't bothered because there's. I thought stuff. when you bought one way ticket, they were suspicious of you. You don't know. Suspicious, they're going to be suspicious. <laughs> I don't know. I hate flying anyway, it's my least favorite mode of transport. <laughs> so, um, and I think uh, it leaves Janine the opportunity should she need to come up with a trailer. I would, um, I would be her passenger on the way up because I don't drive because <laughs> it's the interstate. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. I just make sure she, she gets her gummy sweeties that are neither ye no, yellow no, or green. No. Those are the desperate right. measures only sweetie colours. They only eat those when you have no others. Yes, exactly. That's my that's my job. Uh, so uh, so that's why I've left it open ended. So we'll just we'll just book it and see how long she can put up with me. Uh, and if it's too hot, I'll be back the following day. Okay. Yeah. No, me. you're supposed to go buy another white mule. Yes, if I can find one. No if. <laughs> Don't give me this if stuff. She was the first white mule I'd ever seen. Mm. I saw a white spotty one. Well, that would be just I want my harness to show up. <laughs> oh, dear. So, now, what else is happening here? Ding, 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 ding. Where's it peed? Is it peed? I don't know where it peed. He's been a good boy. <coughs> Did you wear the blue fluffy? You can't see me in the blue fluffy. We'll check you out later. <coughs> right. No, he's actually, we're actually getting to a stage that he's <coughs> used the crate and he's decided that he doesn't like being in the crate because he can be out swimming. And he has to get used to the routine of being in the crate. <coughs> Otherwise, you will sit and do that forever. <laughs> no. No, no, stop it. <laughs> Nick says he is a he has many. No, stop. He it. has many good qualities, but sleeping isn't one of them. <laughs> uh. Yeah. And he also says he's over there, Nick. And every time he yaps, our dogs are going berserk. That'd be about right. I'll tell you what, Judy. Mm -hmm. Judy made me try and remember what she purchased today. What we we were hard pressed for things to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. So she went to market earlier. I go to the bank in the market, mm -hmm. and she bought back five bags of full of groceries and put them, in, you know, put them in the room. Mm -hmm. And so we were coming home, and. We got to tell you about memory. I said, okay, let me see if I can remember what you put in the icebox. And so I started in, and I, I did very well. Excellent. I did very well. Did you get everything? It seems to me I forgot the um, English muffins with raisins. But I remember them now. <laughs> I wouldn't remember them. I don't like raisins. I would have blocked them English out too. Was, well, it was the only sort of bread type thing she had. She got ice cream. She got that key lime pie stuff. It's just brutal. <laughs> you know. That's Judy's favorite, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. And then we had lima beans and we had green limas, green beans. We had a lot of stuff. Mm. A lot of yogurty stuff. So that stuff I drink, the yogurt, here it is. Here it is. And, and we got to start wondering what the hell to do with the bottles. Because I'm beginning to get hundreds of these bottles. <laughs> well, where would them store hundreds of those bottles? Well, well, we have a big container going. Okay. I need it. We got it. We, we, I peel the label off and uh, I wash them out and put them away. They have such a peculiar shape. I mean, it, it, I'm sure we can figure out something to do with them. That one's full. Are you just taking off the outside? I'm just taking it off the outside, I hope. No. Okay. Oh my goodness. Miss Momo is doing fine, although she's a bit wet. Very wet. And uh, she and her alpaca buddies are wet. And uh, oh, she's quite happy ruling the roost. I'm not even going to read that out, Martha. There you go. This is the shape we're dealing with. Yes. Uh, we ought to be able to do something with it. We, we, we're getting hundreds of them. <laughs> oh, does one o'clock tomorrow work for a Jiminy visit? Yeah. Yeah, that would be lovely. Thank you, Elena. 
Yeah, Harley is getting a bit bigger, but she's not getting a milk sack, so. Who? Harley. Oh. So you better be on there. Uh, you think she's. Uh, you think the minute you leave town, she's I know the minute try. I leave town, she'll, she'll produce something. But I do have Kate all lined up, and Ava's up in the house. So, we'll be fine. Yeah, we just, it, you never know what's going to turn up at these auctions. I know. And it's not a dog, you're fine. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's, um, yeah. So, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. He is extremely sensitive to the leash now. Is he? Very. Uh, just a little, just a little tiny. So much so that I am afraid to let anybody else handle it. Because you give a leash to anybody else in the mm -hmm. world, on any size dog, even if it's a tiny little thing, they grab it and they pull. Mm -hmm. And you don't, that's not what a leash is for. A leash is for communication. Mm -hmm. And this business of just trying to strangle them. Uh-uh, you can't do that. So I'm, I'm very careful with who I give the leash to. And is he and still... I, I get mad and yell. There's a surprise. Is he, um, is he on... Um, Extender? No, is he on a, a figure of eight still? Or I've graduated the figure of eight. And, it is, and he's now on... Just a straight a ring around his neck. Oh, well, that's very good. Yes. Yes. Although, actually, if I had to give him to somebody else, I think I'd put the figure eight on him. Because people do it, mm -hmm. especially the big dog. They strangle. <laughs> and poor Sizzle, who doesn't like a leash on her anyway, she gets very annoyed. She gets very depressed lately. Tries to strangle her. It's terrible. Well, I would too, wouldn't you? I would, yes. They are very. Um, oh, yeah. When so when uh, when Elena and. Jiminy come tomorrow, you need to make sure that the dogs have somewhere to go. Like in a crate. <laughs> in a crate. <laughs> How many can we fit in a crate? I gotta get that, that deck straightened out. Yeah. I, what I'd like to have is that, that wire you have right in front of your face. Yeah. Sort of one inch by two inch or yeah. something. Along the, you need it along underneath the back it, side. you know, go around underneath them. Yeah. So there's a nice pen I can put the dogs out there without having to think about it. Yeah. I think you would be just as well closing that off in the interim, the gap that gets you from that side, because you're always going to go out the, this door, really, Not aren't always. you? No, the minute you close it off, you want to get through. I can, I can build a gate. Okay. You start with a whole bunch of strapping and you just keep nailing it together. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually you have a gate. It's a very small entrance though, isn't it? It's not that small. I could, I could fit through. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't saying you couldn't fit through it. I'm just saying it's such a tiny entrance. Oh dear. Now, so what are we doing this weekend? I don't know. I only go day to day. I've got, a, I've got a donkey going home tomorrow, which is good. Oh. I had a dream. Is that about donkeys? Well, it was a little bit. Right. It was about the, the two other um, equine, I don't know, I don't know them, riding for the handicapped Windrush Farm mm -hmm. in Ironstone. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not willing to share our hay buyers, but I bet they have their own community. Mm -hmm. And maybe I should offer to share our process where they could encourage their community to buy hay for them. They all need hay. I think they've all got it in hand. Well, the last I knew, Windrush was needed help. Mm, I, I don't, I don't know. You can certainly do that. Um, yeah, Windrush was started by Mar uh, Mar uh, Marge Kittredge, mm -hmm. and I knew Marge Kittredge very well. I was just twenty years behind her. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and she graduated from Vassar. Mm-hmm. And she was an entirely different crowd. She was the Hamilton crowd, the very expensive, mm-hmm. you know, and I knew all the plumbers and the carpenters. And <laughs> you know, and I do think that um, that that uh, Windrush has done fine with their very expensive donors. But last I knew, it was, um, Nandy was running it, and uh, they 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 maybe could stand some help. And all horse owners need hay. Mm-hmm. So I I, I was going to try and see if still Nandy's still there. I don't think it is. I think it's somebody different that's running it. Yeah. It's an English lady who runs it. Who? An English lady. Oh well, you know what they're like. I don't know actually. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Anyway, that was that was that was maybe I ought to be sharing that knowledge with them and see. Yeah. It's certainly to have your hay. You get help buying your hay is just there's no substitute. No, definitely not. That makes a tremendous difference. Yeah. To be able to order hay and things like that and be able to pay for it. No, yeah. you've got a horse to feed. It's mm. So this seems to be a reoccurring pro- uh, um, question that keeps popping up over the last two days, probably because something you've written in the, the Daily Doggy. Um, th- there seems to be a bit of confusion around why funds are not used from the money that comes in from the Henny Penny to fund someone to go to the community outreach. So the difficulty with that is we're actually... It doesn't cost me anything. Well, exactly, but we're actually... The, the other difficulty you have, and I don't think people quite realise this, with the exception of Judy who goes and who does a specific role for you, everyone else is a volunteer. So when you start paying somebody, it can actually cause a lot of um, upset within your volunteer group because There's all these people who are donating their time. And I actually, we have a phenomenal group, a very small, phenomenal group of volunteers. One of the ladies that volunteers for us has three paying jobs, and we are not one of them. And she bends over backwards to help. She finishes one job uh, after midnight and turns up in that farm by seven in the morning. And it's a really difficult thing, and I don't think people maybe actually appreciate that volunteers are very hard to find. Good volunteers are like hen's teeth very rare and we have fallen on our feet having the level of commitment and expertise and dependability which is really important from our volunteer group so in that frame of thinking the reason we like to try and keep it in in a volunteer group is because that's what it's been born out of and it allows us to maintain all the other parts and when you think about now, people are exceptionally generous in both the hay fund and also the henny penny. I don't think people realise that our aim is not to spend everything that we make every month, because you really just can't do that in this day and age. There's you know we something's have, going to happen. Something's going to happen, um, and when animals are dependent upon food, when animals are dependent upon um, vet care, uh, you have to be able to come up with it. And it's, it's not a case of, oh, you got that in this month. Where's it gone? Yeah. Well, we've had fences um, that, and the chicken house that's been repaired. The bill alone for the wood for the chicken and goat house repair was, was it 900 and some, $935 from Home Depot. So when you think about it, there's an awful lot more going on in this farm that allows it to function and we have been exceptionally fortunate that on the whole we do not have employees and that's the way it is and there's a lot of suggestions that you know there are people who are paid under the table and you know i think people need I've to go on the under the table for a long time and i must say it, it really is bad to begin with well but we don't at goldie's we farm don't do it. pay under the table not anymore we oh no. i used to well you, uh, that's your problem i know <laughs> i know i mean uh, you know and i think I, that I, had, I had i had 
veteran here who could not work or he'd lose his benefits. Exactly. Now, see, I don't approve of that. No. I don't approve of them making that rule. Yeah. But it's not my business to... But if I don't like it, I can get around it and I can pay him under the table and then he will... Because the guy was handicapped. Mm-hmm. And he had a, he had a correct disability, and he there were an awful lot of jobs he could not get. But I could I, he could do a job for me, and I'd pay him. And that was bad. I was not supposed to do that, but you know he's gone now. Yeah. Oh. So I think moving on with the format of Goldies is we're volunteer based as long as we have got the appropriate volunteers. Now let's face it, there are certain people we have to pay and come in and do jobs yeah. because they're beyond our pay grade, yeah. of three. Um, because there's just certain skill sets that you need to have and, and that's the bottom line. Um, Mr Clark turned up yesterday after his day of work with his wife who volunteers with us, Elaine, absolutely super, and they took away a load. Kate, one of our board members, she loaded the manure tractor during mail call actually and they took that away. Um, we don't pay to have a company come in because we try very hard and we're very fortunate that people actually do volunteer their time to assist us and that's a, a very much appreciated and essential part of who we are, I'm afraid. So that's, and, and I don't think I could be more clear than this, and you know, the, the allegations that we're getting paid under the table, we're getting paid this, that no, and the no. other, we just don't. And no. Carlene doesn't take a salary. I don't take I a salary. I thought you were having a sandwich today and I paid it back. Yeah, I know. I took the $20 <laughs> back for her sandwich because it was hay bale money. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you know, and we're actually very careful. I'm Scottish. I'm a bit frugal. Um, and you're kind of frugal at the best of times. Yeah. Unless it's TPs, at which point we'll not discuss that. Um, but I think, you know, we're very conscious of the fact that it's volunteer money. Uh, it's not volunteer money. It's donated money and volunteer time and we're greatly appreciative of it yeah. so it seems pretty clear cut to me and i'm pretty sure that you know there will be a statements and bank accounts and 990s etc so oh, anybody out. is welcome to open and come and look and audit anything they want yeah i mean this the, the way it works is everything that comes in goes in this funny little book yeah if, if you think that's ridiculous but many times we've gone back to that book and say what happened way back in that time? And it's in this book. Sometimes it, you know, it's hard to track someplace else. But anything that comes in is supposed to be in that book. So Nancy, you keep ans asking me this funds for what? Well, I think it's funds for Goldie's Farm and the operation of the outreach team, the operation of the um, rescue and rehab, <coughs> and all the animals that we have here. And that is not a cheap undertaking. And when you have to put salary into it, it becomes an absolute unachievable. It, well, it's another, it's another burden. <coughs> if it comes to buying hay or paying somebody's salary, we have to buy hay. Yes, exactly. Which is, why, then, we don't, do the which work is, which is why we don't pay anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, dear, no, dear me. There are priorities here that just have to take place. Yeah. Um, and, and I think it's, and so this lady Joanna said, yes, you need a six month, months of emergency funds. And That'd be lovely. And, <laughs> you know, we're very well aware of that. We don't quite have that at this precise moment in time. And one of the reasons you actually need the emergency funds is, I don't know if anybody's watched the weather that we seem to be having. Nothing is predictable any longer. We've had uh, hay problems with the nutrient level, which have uh, caused us to have to purchase different feed. Uh, we've had lots of vet bills, yeah. no, no day is the same, and no month is the same, and you cannot predict forward that you know, way. You know a thing that, that came up to mind? Two people that I know have had dogs have ACLs lately. Mm -hmm. That's an expensive proposition, and um, one of them ran a fund me. Mm -hmm. um, she had the normal ACL treatment, mm -hmm. and it was like seven thousand dollars, I think, was her, and she she made it. Mm -hmm. um, and then lately, there's there's been another one where they're trying a different 
operation, and it was $10,000. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the people who have that dog funded it, I guess. I, I, I don't know what happened. It, somehow the bill got paid. Mm -hmm. um, but that could happen to us. Yes, I know. I mean, and you know, this is our <coughs> primary dog right behind you here. Yeah. And what happens if he comes up with an ACL and needs ten thousand dollars for the surgery? Well, we don't have it in the bank no. right now. And we've got a pregnant donkey in the barn. Well, that that should happen, all right. Pregnancy is a normal thing. Yeah, it should. But we are we have we have made allowances for the things that, you know, you just cannot predict, like yeah. his big feet that get in everything. <laughs> You know, it's a, it, it's a, it, it's not quite as straightforward as in, hey, look, this is the money that that um, came in this month. Thank you very much for providing it. But you know, we have to be exceptionally careful and and we've got to try vigilance. and stash some of it away. Yeah, in the bank, in by the, the way, bank. just in case you think we're putting it under the dog mattress because <laughs> it wouldn't be there the next morning. No. <laughs> oh no. dear. We we need, we need a, a financial cushion. We, we had one. When I ran Service Dog Project, we had a very nice, we had three bank accounts of about 100000 each. Stop showing off. No, 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 no. We're going to need a, that was with the help of, of Charlie Annenberg. I mean, yeah. let's face it. He and I don't know whether a lot of people realize it, but Charlie was a nice guy mm -hmm. and a regular guy. And he and I got into an argument one day, and I cannot even tell you what the argument was about, but I ended up betting him. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, his financial and my financial, and I was $10 versus his 1000 mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. I'll go. If I got those odds, I'll continue. So we kept going with this betting. Well, if you can't get, if you can get this done by the weekend, then I'll give you, he said, $100,000. Mm -hmm. All right. I forgot what it was, but I had to get everybody online. I said, quick, send such and such or do such and and we swamped him. <laughs> so, so he was astounded and he said, well, I'll double it. <laughs> I said, oh, all right, I'm with you. And I, I'm into it for now, $200. And he's, I got a hundred, you know, and he ended up paying us $110,000 yeah. yeah. one Monday for absolutely no reason. And because of that, it it swelled our income during this COVID thing, mm -hmm. so that the next year it dropped tremendously. Mm -hmm. And because it dropped, the government thought COVID did it, mm -hmm. and the government paid us all kinds of money. Mm -hmm. And it really was because Charlie <laughs> had paid us, this. and that's 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 how we ended up with. Three bank accounts with a hundred thousand dollars in it. I think it was three bank accounts. That, that's not right. It was not close. It's two. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's right up there. But the whole thing was really kind of caused by by Charlie. Yeah. And Charlie and I. I mean, did I have an, uh, a contract with him? He and I shook hands, and that was it. Mm -hmm. And it was three hundred thousand dollars every two years. Mm -hmm. And I worked hard for him. I worked in all. I, he appreciated that, you know, I was rushing to explore mm -hmm. in all these places. But I, you know, I still am, you mm -hmm. know. Yes, you are. <laughs> I know. Any any blank TV screen, she says, there should be an explore camera on here. And I have, I, I, there are several places I've left it running. Mm -hmm. They didn't know about it. <laughs> the one that really bugs me is Ira Toyota. What does it show? Cars? Not, yeah, they've got two screens. And one, they're just bad. But they're probably trying to sell cars. Mm -hmm. I know. I see you. They're the best boy. They are the best boy. So I think that's, um, so, uh, you know, without being 100% specific to the last nickel and dime, that's what happens with the money. You know, we use it appropriately. We try very hard to come from uh, a no, volunteer I, I could, I could give you a, a printout. No, because every time you print out, print out you everybody know, complains. I know. But I, I, I can show you every, everything we spent. Yeah. yeah. It's things. Like hitches from my car so I can pull the trailer. 
and my hitch gets stolen. <laughs> well, and then it turns up three weeks and later. It turns up three weeks later. Now we've got two hitches. <laughs> <laughs> that dog. <laughs> hey, shh, stop it. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not good. No. <laughs> It's not a good thing at all. No. No, no. Stop it. No. Stop it. No. No, you be good puppy. No, no. You be good puppy. Yes. No. Stop it. Yes, better. Good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, excuse me while I train the dog. That's a good puppy. Don't swap seats. My ear's ringing. He's good boy. Yes, look at that. Isn't I love he? that wee puppy. He's a nice puppy. I got a uh -uh, puppy. Don't make any noises now. How's that, guys? Okay, let's shut the camera off quickly. Because he'll start again. <laughs> Before it gets going again. Oh, He's so a good boy, though. He's so a good puppy. We've got a busy weekend. Doing stuff. Yeah, there's stuff. Lots of stuff. I cleaned off my desk. No, you did not. Your socks are still on it. Oh my God, it's a lot of. I didn't get. I didn't get the slippers off, and I didn't get. I don't know whose water that is. That's not water. That's hand sanitizer. Don't drink it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll not be having any drunk dialing. It, it, it fell over, and was, oh, we thought it was going to go into the printer. So we. I, that, I, I don't know. Anyway. Excellent. You'd have had a super queen printer. Right. So, everybody have a lovely weekend. And uh, we'll see you Monday. Yeah, if we're lucky. If we're lucky. I have to go and work out how to turn this blinking thing off. <laughs>